you're giving this statement of your own free will. Did she beg y'all not to hurt her? She was hollering for help and telling us to stop. I thought it was just a dream. Just a dream. If I wrote The Innocent Man as a novel, folks probably wouldn't believe it. In small towns like Ada, the prosecutors and the police were under enormous pressure to solve two sensational murders. Debbie Carter and Denise Haraway. Debbie's body was lying naked on the floor. She had a cord wrapped around her neck. People started calling in about Ron Williamson and Dennis Fritz. The town was in disbelief. And then two years later, Denise Haraway disappeared. The police charge Tommy Ward and Carl Fontenot. She goes, Tommy, I didn't think you'd ever do anything like this. Once the confession tapes were played, these people were guilty. If it wasn't true, you wouldn't say it. This is like a damn game, man. I don't know why they keep on me. They know I didn't do this. I believe the evidence. These boys did it. My daughter's gone. We had to knife in his hand like this, and he was stabbed. I believe that these are completely coerced. Something was really rotten at the core of this case. Blood sample is never obtained. Fingerprints are never obtained. What are the police trying to cover up, and who's going to get to the bottom of this? How close did you come to being executed? Five days. The fact that your life can be taken away that easy is horrifying. We just don't expect the police to play dirty. It's all about winning. And along the way, if the truth gets blurred, there was no evidence of stab wounds. Or twisted. Everything about their confession has been proven wrong. That's too bad. I believe the men who are in jail are not the men who did it. They're replacements for the real people. This is going to happen again. Don't think otherwise.